All right, so my name is Joshua Tarbutton, and this is the first video for system identification. Uh, today, I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to the system identification toolkit in MATLAB, and uh, it's really the uh, the GUI specifically, um, and it, it uses all the library functions. Um, but um, right now, I'm just going to show you the GUI. This is usually where I get started. And later on, you can use actual functions in your files. So to get started, you go to MATLAB and you just type ident. As you see here, and hit enter. That will bring up the System Identification Toolkit GUI. And on the GUI, you'll see we have basically uh, three regions. Uh, over here on the left is the uh, imported data region data that you import will be show up here on these tiles um, over here in the middle we have operations that you can do on that data such as pre-process data, pre that data or create uh, or estimate a system identification model over here are your output models <clears throat> and so um, perhaps the best way to go through this is to just go through an example and fortunately they've included example data so we can just load that and what that does is it it uh, brings up this import data uh, dialog box and populates variables in the workspace already so you can see these work variables over here we have u2 and y2 and uh, we have basically input and output data we can name the data uh, give it a start time and a sampling interval. And so say you wanted to get started you could take your data and just make sure that it was the right uh, an input variable and an output variable in the workspace and then you can do do it very similar to as we're doing here. Of course the data has to have the same sample rate sampling interval and uh, we can import that data and that brings the data up over here into our toolkit and we can look at the uh, the time plot for that data. So this just shows us the, the data that we've loaded. Here's our input on the bottom and here's our output on the top. What we're basically trying to do is create a system use system identification to create a model that can reproduce the same data. And so uh, in order to do that what we'll do is we uh, basically the data that we import gets automatically copied here to the working data and here we can estimate um, let's say we want to do a linear parametric model this would be your ARX, your ARMAX, your output error, box Jenkins, state space models. Uh, it automatically selected some nominal orders for us and these are the orders of your A coefficients, your B coefficients and your delay but instead of using these what I'd like to do is go to the order selection toolkit and that allows us to choose 1 through 10 for A, 1 through 10 for B, and 1 through 10 for the delay and then we'll just hit estimate. So what it basically does is it estimates you know um, all combinations of these models and shows you the results here the number of uh, order and the, and the error on the y-axis. So we looks like we're about at the threshold here at this third one. You notice that when we click these different ones uh, the order here for A and B change um, but it looks like this is really the, the, the one that's able to reproduce the data with, with a minimum model. And so I'll select this one and then I'll go ahead and insert. So what that does is it creates a model um, based upon the input output data and an ARX of 2 for A, 2 for B, and 3 for the delay. So now that we have this in we can take a look at how well we did. And so what this shows us is basically it's a plot of the model data with the ARX model and underneath it's uh, our original data. So you can see just uh, very quickly we're able to get uh, a model that is able to reproduce our, our data. So this is just sort of an introduction um, for people who have never used the system identification toolkit 
uh, hopefully you'll find this useful.